So there was a leaked, uh, some leaked audio regarding uh, the CDC and their meeting with lawmakers. And I know, I think that's a, a part of this whole pandemic, if that's what you want to call it, that often got overlooked. There was a lot of bureaucratic bullshit that was involved. And uh, when it seemed, I know everybody likes to think that it was always the science and it was everything that people led with was the science. It was the reason why we had this restriction or that restriction or we did this. You know, social between the social distancing or the masking or lockdown here, passport here. And it was always about my science when often that's not couldn't be anything further from the truth, especially when you consider uh, the CDC and their recommendation, which effectively for a while there just became law. And people just said, OK, we're going to do whatever the fucking I didn't. OK, so I just found out that there's this is a thing that I'm not going to be using. Mitt, I've had this desk for I don't know how. Is it one over here? It is. What the fuck? We've just discovered that there are compartments that I did not know exist on a live show on this desk. I'm about to be using this shit. Huh. Anyway, has nothing to do with what we're talking about. But obviously, this pandemic shit, it's been a bunch of bureaucratic bullshit. Let's talk about this real quick. Leak audio CDC director tells lawmakers there will be no changes to school guidance. CDC director Rochelle Walensky told lawmakers there are no plans to change the federal guidelines requiring students to wear masks in school. The CDC provide well, look y'all the ones still sending y'all school y'all are sending y'all's kids. Not all of y'all, but you get what it is. I'm saying uh, people out there sending their kids to public school. That's a, that's a mistake in the first place. But then there's a group of y'all sending y'all kids to, to public schools that are saying that they have these rules because of CDC guidelines and recommendations. Well, they got your child wearing a goddamn diaper the entire time that they are there. Our guidance is currently that masking shit happen in all schools right now. So they are recommending that the CDC, and again, this is a federal agency, and they are recommending, according to their guidelines, that kids should be wearing masks in school. Now, of course, I don't even think this damn CDC thing should even be a thing. It should be abolished. But in leaked audio from the closed door meeting on Tuesday was reported by reason, Walensky, White House Chief Medical Advisor Dr. Anthony Fauci and U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Assistant Secretary for Preparedness and Response Don O'Neill, Don O'Connell, excuse me, spoke to lawmakers about federal COVID-19 guidelines, gave updates on vaccines and answered questions about the pandemic, according to reason. Lawmakers from both parties criticized the CDC's mask guidance, and uh, Walensky was challenged to explain why federal guidelines appear to be out of step with the latest science. The science is always changing. I have always hate that damn stupid kind of term or moniker that people like to use because what is, let's say, scientific rather uh, or is considered or deemed as a scientific fact or what is truth does not rest upon when you got there to discover it, Right. So somebody at some point was incorrect and wrong. Now, they're too chicken shit to have admit that they got it wrong. So they just say, well, it's just outdated science. So the science has been updated and it has been changed. Representative Kathy McMorris Rogers, the ranking Republican on the committee, observed that a major study from Arizona used by CDC to support school mask mandates is seriously flawed. And press Walensky to change federal guidance to be more in line with the science and with the international community. This is what uh, McMorris Rogers reportedly said. What we see in the U.S. is an outlier as it relates to mask mandates on our children or for our children to go to school. The WHO and UNICEF have both recommended against masking kids under the age of five because it's going to do more harm than good. For children ages 6 to 11, they think that we should be considering other factors like learning and social development. My question today, my one question is, Dr. Walensky, will you commit to update your guidance by Friday to allow children in person without the burdens of masks? 
And this is, uh, she said, uh, let's say, Walensky did not commit to changing CDC guidance by Friday, even though she acknowledged that the Arizona study has limitations. They all have limitations, and that's important to recognize because we are not randomizing schools. We have to control for whether uh, there are windows, ventilation, and other activities happening outside of these schools, so all these studies have limitations. But they are, for the most part, uniformly pointing to that when there's a lot of disease out there, oh, the fuck that means, the masks are preventing that disease. <laughs> what? Where's the receipts? Uh, and, and preventing the transmission. And because of that, we are able to keep our schools open. So she's saying, well, the only reason we can keep it. I, I, it's it's kind of crazy how these psychopaths, narcissists, rather, and how they discuss it as if there's it's a kind of a binary line of thinking, right? You have to mask or the schools uh, can't be open. That's basically what it's the ultimatum that's being given there. So, hey, it's because of the mask that we are allowed to have the schools. I'll be like, no, 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 fuck that. We could not have masks and you could have the schools open. Explain why we need to keep allowing a school district to impose mask mandates on kids. This is what Representative Gary Palmer asked Walensky. Walensky then says, I will also say that the guidance is just guidance. All of these decisions we've continued to say have to be made at the local level. As cases come down dramatically, we have deferred our guidance to the local level jurisdictions <laughs> that's not acceptable said palmer basically that you're not answering the question uh here here's uh, another bit of this right here according to reason Walensky attempted to reply with national statistics about there being 170,000 cases per day and 2200 deaths per day on average but s s cut her off when you use national figures, that's not a snapshot of where we are. So can you take that into consideration as you're giving me an answer? Absolutely. We, we know that all of these decisions have to be made at the jurisdictional level. So not only do we report the national data, uh, but we have to report them at the jurisdictional level because we know that we ask the jurisdictions to look at their local context to look at their local cases, to look at how their hospitals are doing, to look at their local death rates. And that is exactly what I think is happening across the country in a phased way. Many different policies are rolling out. Some are saying they're removing masks. Now some are saying they're removing masks at the end of the month. Some say we're removing masks at the end of the month, but not yet for schools, which is criminal, by the way. Uh, and so this is really happening at the jurisdictional level. And what we're recommending is that giving right now where we are for cases that masks should stay on. So she's not really answering the question as far as why she's just saying it, well, because we just won't change it. Now, ultimately it's up to the local jurisdictions to, to make a decision, but our guidelines are going to remain the same no matter what, because reasons is essentially what it is. She's saying CDC should be abolished. Uh, shouldn't exist, shouldn't be a thing. There should not be any sort of federal oversight over this sort of issue here because we see where that gets us. It gets us a bunch of bullshit recommendation. It gets us little elves like uh, uh, Dr. Tony Fauci, who is basking in the glory and the uh, uh, the hype and all of the, uh, the, the glamour and glitz that he's getting because of this. He's been more popular now than he's ever fucking been. Even through the AIDS crisis, he wasn't this fucking popular, being seen as this fucking hero. And this is why I think they want to continue to kick the can down the road. A lot of politics, a lot of bureaucratic bullshit, a lot of people got special interests involved. To act like this had ever been about the science when they can't even explain what the hell is scientific about uh, what they're talking about with the mask. You're lying and you have been lying since the get go, bro. It was never about mere science to act like that was the only thing being taken into consideration as these guidelines, which again, it's important context. Speaking of that, we acknowledge that it was the restrictions. They were being basically put in place and implemented because of the recommendations by way of the CDC. Basically, 
Bureaucrats gonna bureaucrat though. You just listened to a clip from my podcast for Cannon's sake, which is live throughout the week at 12 p.m. Central on youtube.com slash youngripper59 and odyssey.com slash at youngripper59. Be sure to check out my website, ericdjuly.com, so you can stay up to date with everything it is that I'm doing. You can also become a member and get access to a bunch of cool perks and exclusive content, which includes a social media hub where you can interact with myself and other members. It even has an app that you can get, which is now live in the Google and Apple stores.